Hey guys, subscribe for daily content. And if you're shopping for gear, make sure you check out the description for the newest items at some of the very best online retailers. There's also links for some of the items that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here. And today I've got another short little unboxing video to share with you guys. Some new stuff from CJRB. It's been just a bit since I've handled any of their uh, budget stuff. Uh, in fact, I feel like it's been multiple weeks, perhaps even months. So this is a nice change of pace. Uh, I'm going to check out some new products. As per usual, I will link them down in the description so that you guys can check them out if you want to. It does help my channel when you use those links, but that's entirely up to you. Thanks to my patrons for supporting me. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex and on TikTok at the underscore metal underscore complex. So we have two here that I think are actually the same. Yeah. Pyrite light. So the pyrite, if you are new, this is just an unboxing. If, it, if it's not obvious, I am literally opening these boxes for the first time. So reviewing the, the object would be stupid. And you should definitely not trust me if that's what I would label this video as, which I am not. This is simply an unboxing and first impressions, which is very, very different from a comprehensive review. Especially if you are a consumer looking for the correct information. Um, but anyways... Uh, what was I going to say? I can't remember. The pi Oh, yeah. The Pyrite is one of my favorite budget knives. This is the Pyrite Lite. So, what do we have? We have a Pyrite with, this appears to be injection mold plastic scales. I got to say, I do actually really like that, uh, that texturing there. Um, let me feel this out. Here is, yeah, right away I can tell. Here's something that I love. These are injection mold plastic scales. What do we have here? AR RPM 9. By the way, CGRB and Artisan Color, they made a statement, and I guess are communicating directly with Laren Thomas, or, or you know, I, I don't know if working is the right word, but they're communicating directly with them on, you know, how to get the proper information out to the... I don't know. The, I, I thought that their statement was really good. I'm glad that they are, you know... Uh, like making an active effort to uh, make sure that the community has the right information on Air RPM 9. If you haven't watched Laren Thomas's video on this stuff, definitely do. Um, but yeah, I think that's cool. So it's it's nice that they did that instead of just pretending like that didn't happen. But anyways, I would hope that what this means for this, uh, because it uh, is probably a little bit lighter than the G10 versions. I, I don't know exactly how much, I can't remember how much the standard G10 version weighs. The versions that I have here with me are steel and uh, a titanium version. But this guy comes in at 2.75 ounces, which is probably a little bit lighter than the G10 version. Now the G10 version of this was like, and I think it still is, is it like $50, $55? So I would hope that this means that they can reduce the price on this uh, down. I mean, like, I would be really excited to see it under 40. I don't know what the price... I mean, it'll be linked in the description. By the time I'm done with this video, I'll know, right? Because I will have linked it. But I would be really excited to find out that that would be the benefit to these scales because the injection mold plastic is much different than, let's call it Fisher-Price plastic. Injection mold plastic is super-duper tough and is very lightweight, right? The benefit there being it's great for actually using the knife, but usually means the cost of the thing can be dramatically reduced. That would be the incentive to pick this up for some people, right? Um, my favorite thing about this is that they did not leave it hollowed out. Benchmade Bugout, for example. I love the Benchmade company. Don't always agree with their pricing, but that's a different matter. I hate the standard Bugout. I hate it. I hate it so much, and I'll tell you why. It's because those injection mold scales are simply the injection mold scales. But wait, there's more. They've hollowed them out completely and not backed them up with steel liners. This isn't a problem necessarily in terms of durability or dependability, but it makes the thing feel ungodly cheap. Oh, it feels like a wafer cracker. Something that I could literally crush in my hand and watch blow away in the wind. Um, even if that's not the case, it just doesn't feel good, especially considering how much you pay for it. So in my opinion, um, it's worth the extra half ounce, um, or three quarters of an ounce to simply have the injectable plastic backed up or uh, including nested steel liners. And 
Yeah, this feels really solid. I mean, it feels like a nice light. It's it's already passing my own test, right? Lightweight to me or ultra lightweight to me is literally any weight under three ounces. Why? Because I don't notice it, right? Now, I'm not a backpacker, a hiker. I'm not trying to min max on like, you know, maximum utility, minimum weight. I mean, if that's your life, great. But I mean, let's be realistic. That's less than 0.0000001% of us. Right, The rest of us, most of you are like me, you're a regular Joe. So you're carrying your knife, you might be carrying a pen or a flashlight, your wallet and your uh, phone, right? Something like that. Uh, so I don't really care. So once I get under three ounces, that's so lightweight to me that I hardly notice if there's an additional half ounce shaved off of the thing or a full ounce shaved off of the thing. It's already so lightweight, I might accidentally wash it uh, while it's still in the pocket of my pants, right? I might even forget to take it out of there. Um, so it's already there. So really what this needs, um, what, what needs to be the case here in order for this to be beneficial over the standard pyrite is it needs to be less expensive, right? Because just being lightweight doesn't mean that it should be the same. I mean, you're, you're losing, you're using less, you're using the same blade material, a little bit of steel, which is nothing for the liners. And then you're using a, a less expensive uh, handle material. I love that this is contoured, which is not the case uh, for the G10 version. That makes this immediately, noticeably much more comfortable. I'm going to point this out. Uh, very cool. Very, very cool, actually. Really like that. Okay. The other one here. <laughs> Just a lot of thought. This is, the Pyrite's one of my favorite budget knives. So if they're gonna add a, another version of it, right? Just gotta gotta really take a look at. It. Well, I like this blue one a little better here. Yeah, not sure what the coating is or what it's the equivalent of. Uh, wouldn't surprise me if it's not much different than paint. That does look good. Um, yeah, I like this. I like this one a lot. That texture is cool. I'm gonna be honest with you though, guys. There's not much traction to be gained here. Uh, it's cool to look at, and I I can feel it, right? But anything locking me in ergonomically is simply the lines or the profile of the handle. Uh, and it feels good. I, this doesn't feel like a knife that I would drop. But the texturing is not deep enough or wide enough to be meaningful in terms of traction. I do like that they were smart enough to add a lefty mounting position. And I also love that the texture pattern does not come out to the edge it simply stops at this perimeter that they've created here. It just looks good. It's a good looking knife. Um, yeah, assuming that this is less expensive than the G10 version, there's definitely a reason to pick this up. Listen, even if it's only five to seven dollars less expensive, uh, that's still really cool because you could make an argument that this is literally an improvement, right? I mean, preference for materials, sure, but the fact that this base version is now contoured without the lipped steel liners underneath means that people will choose this just for the ergonomic comfort, which is definitely noticeable. So if they have done that and made it way less in a meaningful, not trivial way, and made it cost less, uh, less, sorry, that's a good, that's a cool move. Hopefully we see coated and non-coated blades Lots of different options for injectable plastic that can be dyed literally any color, right? Um, and different blade shapes. I'd like to see the uh, the drop point on this too, right? I want to see everything. I want to see the Tanta. I want to see a Warncliffe. They already have a Warncliffe. I don't know. I want to see them do a bunch of different stuff. But this is cool. Um, I'll just have to, you know, we'll have to see what the price is. But uh, anyways, I'll link this stuff down below. You guys can check the price if you want to. I will absolutely review this because it is different enough from the standard Pyrite. It deserves its own review. That's going to be it for today, guys. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex and on TikTok at the underscore metal underscore complex. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that metal complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.